Uh, today I'm just going to run through one of the things that I'm asked for over and over and over again is how to create a ticketing or bug tracking system within Asana. Uh, and there are many, many ways to do this, but it's primarily about how do I get information in a specific form, generally from a client, into Asana. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the process uh, that I've used for my own uh, ticketing bug tracking system and then I can talk through some of the options that are available for notifications and modification. So if we look at the screen here, uh, this is a simple form. This form is built on a WordPress website and it's built through Gravity Forms but you can just as use, easily use a type form page or potentially the new form within Asana or there are a host of other form entry based uh, systems. So what I'm going to do is it's essentially it says log a risk support request. This is where the customer would go. You would give them the URL and they would fill out a form. And I'll just take you through the process of what happens and then describe um, the problem itself. So. This is uh, a problem number 22, and just 222 two, two, in order to kind of describe it. And in here, we could put uh, the long description uh, where maybe they can, a client can post in some text. Uh, they can describe it in more detail because obviously, the better the detail, the more likelihood you're going to get um, an easier response. The email of the uh, person that you're typing it in. And, and here, there are some options. I, I just have one email, but there's potentially, instead of using email, you could have a drop down that says select the customer type. Uh, if customer details are confidential and you don't want clients to see other clients, uh, you could potentially use the um, domain as a, as a means to direct the problem, the description, into a particular uh, project dependent on what this is set to. So there are many options available here. I've just chosen the simple one. And then quite often you want to add screen grabs or documents or whatever it is. So you can add an attachment here. Let's see whether I can add one. Let me find something pretty straightforward uh, let's look at gosh something simple here's a little gif -y gif let's let's add that in there and you can see that it uploads the image and then what happens is is all of the magic happens beyond here so we click submit uh, the form will do its thing and then it, the form will then redirect us to um, a page uh, that says thank you so that the uh, client has a confirmation. Uh, we'll be notified immediately by Slack. So I kind of built this in and I'll show you through the process. So what happens in the background is this. So I use a tool called Zapier. Zapier has a link to my Gravity form, the previous form on uh, the website. And essentially, it joins the form to Asana. But what's clever is it also joins it to Slack. So if I look at my Slack account, so here, if I look in uh, Slack, you can see here that a new bug has been recorded, uh, and I haven't finished quite finished the uh, uh, description, but it says the long description is so and so, and you can add as much information as is required. Um, so Zapier then sends a notification, so you see it in the top corner of your screen, uh, just a kind of quick notifi notification to say someone has logged a bug. But the clever bit behind this is what also happens, and again, you can see here's a previous test that I've done. Uh, you will have to wait up to 15 minutes 
for the bug to the, the details from the form to appear in Asana because it depends on what subscription level you're on but generally for these less than critical no notifications um, the item take can take up to about 15 minutes to land in your system so we will pause here and wait for this to come in but in the meantime if you if you're not a slack user uh, you can also get a notification by email and here you can see that here's the short description the long description uh, and so on and so forth and the attached Giphy file uh, which we can also view and so it depends again it depends on what sort of notification system that you use you could potentially link it to your phone or an SMS service if you have it or whatever it is for me I tend not to read emails I really dislike emails if I'm honest um, but it, it here's just to show you that it can be done you submit the form you get an email if you're not a slack user or you don't have any other notification system okay so the other thing is, is uh, again, if you're not an Asana user, you may well be an Airtable user. And so what we can see here is that here is my bug tracking system. Uh, I, actually, I do use Airtable instead of um, Asana, but it, it, it doesn't really matter. You can use both. Uh, I've got it actually connected to use both at this problem. But we can see that there's a new bug. Uh, I've set the priority to it. Its status is new. Uh, I, I could add the client in, uh, but again, I, I didn't set the client in the form. It depends really on what you want to use it. You could also set the date to be today. Um, here's the long description, and I have some calculations inside this form to work out what the date was to notify me. And here I've even added where the bug came from so if you manually add the details you can add them manually and if you automatically add the details you can add it into um, Airtable or Asana and just you know gives you some indication of where the bug came from uh, particularly useful so you know that you don't go chasing people you just know that it came in via the form and here's the person the email from the form who submitted the name so uh, again, you can use Airtable, you can use Asana, you can use both. I've connected it to both in this particular case. And here we can see, again, we did have to wait five, five, six minutes, but we can now see that the form has sent this information into uh, Asana. So you can see here's the problem description. Uh, I have automatically assigned it to myself, but you could assign it to a particular team, a particular person, a particular project, dependent on how you set up the form, and Zappy will take can, can, uh, control and care of that for you. Uh, you can see here, I've also added uh, an assignment date tomorrow so that it will appear in my, my tasks tomorrow morning. So I, I never go... Uh, more than 24 hours without uh, adding in uh, without updating the client uh, so here we can see it's assigned to me it's due tomorrow it's in the new task project but again you could move it uh, I've captured some priority uh, as normal uh, and the one thing I haven't added inside Asana but you could do um, you can do in Airtable you can do in one of the forms is to add in the image, that Giphy image uh, that I, but I simply just haven't added it inside this particular item. So that's it. That, there are many, many, many options. So a combination of using Airtable and Zapier and a web form or some description. Uh, I've shown you probably one of the most basic uh, examples but it's it's relatively easy and straightforward to make some what appears to be quite complex calculations based on the data within the form um, and it saves a huge amount of time and, and that's really why i built this was to save me the time so that's it that's a quick overview of how to create a ticketing or bug tracking or 
there are many uses. This you could use the same sort of thing for contacting sales, for inquiries, for whatever it is. But that's how you take the information from the web and put it in your database or Asana or whatever the tracking system that you have. You could even add it to your CRM system if you wanted. Uh, and maybe I'll show some other of those options in another video. So that was it. Taking and building a bug tracking system from a form and getting it into Asana.